Hi, I'm Bob Hudson, and this video is to show you the process for importing high-definition videos from the Sanyo HD 1000 camera slash camcorder into your Macintosh for use in iMovie HD, Final Cut Express, and Final Cut Pro. Now, the HD 1000 records in a MP4 format, and I typically use the 720p setting at uh, 30 fields per second. I find that provides really, really nice quality. I'm very pleased with this camcorder. I've been shooting video professionally since the early 90s and have owned all sorts of uh, camcorders and I just love this little thing. It's just a wonderful, wonderful little uh, device. Uh, fits in a big pocket but uh, shoots some big size video at very high quality. I've heard people complain that, well, no, the HD doesn't look like the stuff I'm getting off of my cable or uh, satellite TV. Well, of course it does and that stuff was shot with cameras costing thousands of dollars. I paid less than 700 for this and I think you know it it does a better job in many respects than cameras in the past digital cameras even that I've paid thousands for okay enough on that let's figure out how to get it into the uh, computer what I use is the free program mpeg stream clip which is designed for converting uh, files to various formats that can be used by uh, QuickTime and other programs and I've got that open up right here and on the right you see the window from my uh, memory card I have an 8 gigabyte memory card that I use on the HD 1000 and I use a Moshi uh, high-speed SD card reader to uh, open that up and I've got a clip right here that I'm going to use uh, one I shot uh, just recently out in the desert and to bring it into MPEG stream clip it's as easy as dragging it over and there it opens up. And by the way, I've got MPEG stream clip uh, uh, reduced in size here for the purpose of this video. But, you know, you can drag it. You can make it uh, larger and smaller. You can make it full screen and that sort of thing. Let's do it just about like, yeah, how about that? That fits in there nicely. Okay. And this works just like a little video player. You can click the button and play your video and then you can stop it. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it back and forth a couple of frames at a time. And now what's really nice here is not only are we going to be importing video into the computer, into our computer's hard drive or external hard drive from the memory card, but we can also make our editing decisions right here. Okay, let's uh, take and drag this back a little bit. I want my video to start, oh, let's say, how about, how about it? Let's make it simple here for doing some math. Put it five seconds. Okay. There. Oops, that's 501. You notice right here it tells me where I am in the video. And down here it tells me my in points and my out points. So I have a 34 second clip and I don't want to use all of that. And I want to start it, say, right here at five seconds. So all I do is hit my I key on the keyboard and everything to the right of the marker goes dark. And that means that I have set an in point right here. And let's drag this down to, oh, how about 10, how about 15 seconds? That'll give us a 10 second clip. Okay, again, we use the uh, arrow keys to fine tune it right there. Okay, that's a 10 second clip. But what I have to do first is hit the O key to mark the out point. And it tells me over here my endpoint's at 5, my out's at 15. And I now have a 10 second clip instead of a 34 second clip to import to my computer. And that's going to save me a lot of hard drive space. And plus, when I get ready to put these clips into uh, iMovie, I have basically made most of my key editing decisions, which is, you know, what do you, what do you want to throw away uh, or what do you want to keep from the clip? So I really like this feature and it really speeds up the editing process. When I get these clips into iMovie HD, all I have to do is arrange them in order, you know, put in some transition titles and music because at this point right now I'm making the basic editing decisions. Okay, so we've got our clip ready to go and now we want to take and export it to QuickTime. You can go up to the menu or you can just use the uh, shortcut, the Apple key and E, Apple E I call that. And I have a preset that I use that I created called Sanyo 720p 
And what I'm going to do is use the Apple Intermediate Codec. And this is what you want to use when you're working with programs such as iMovie HD or uh, the Final Cut programs. The audio is going to be uncompressed and the frame size is going to be the 1280 by 720 for HDTV 720p. And the rest of this I really don't need to mess with. And down here we got a little button that says Make Movie. I click that and then it prompts me for where do I want to save it. What I typically do is I create a folder that I name after the movie I'm going to be working on. Let's say Mexico Cruise 2008 and then I just put all the uh, files in there. I don't have to rename the files because I know what movie they're associated with by what folder they're located in. So let's do a save. Now we have a 10 second clip here and on my uh, MacBook this takes about uh, 10 seconds to not only convert but to save to my computer's hard drive or in this case to an external 10 gigabyte Firewire drive. So let's do that and this is the process here. Uh, it zips right along. I've worked with uh, MPEG-4 clips in the past that would take several times real time to import into the Mac, so I'm really pleased with the workflow here. So that one's all done. Now what if I want to do another clip? Well, let's see. Let's just go over here, drag it into uh, MPEG stream clip, and I don't even have to close the other one. It automatically uh, takes care of that. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, well, I'm dragging the little slider here. Okay, let's we want to start it here. And let's see, let's go down here. Uh, okay, I want to change my endpoint. Let's click I again. And you notice the endpoint just changes. And my out point is somewhere down here. Okay, and I've decided that's going to be my out point. All right, so how quickly can I get this into the computer now? Apple E, hit return, hit return, and it's now encoding it. So that's really all it, all there is. You sit here, you make your edit decisions, mark your endpoints, your outpoints, uh, hit the return key a couple of times, and then when that one's done, just uh, move your cursor over to the window and drag in another clip and do that. And all in all, it's a very nice little process. I'm pleased with the camera. I'm pleased with the way MPEG Stream Clip works with this, and I highly recommend this as a way to uh, move your video uh, production and editing into the 21st century.